The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Talking about the sensory systems, and this very rudimentary drawing here represents the auditory system. The uh, most important thing here is the way that the different frequencies of sounds are detected in the cochlea. Right here we have the ear, the hammer, stapes, and anvil. I know it sounds like an old western or something. It's connected here to the cochlea through there's a little window, which unfortunately I am unable to draw. I just know there's a little window here. Right here this blue line represents the basilar membrane. The red represents the hair cells, and the green represents the organ of cortine. So what's happening here, for very high-pitched sounds, they're detected in this area here, and um, that's with place theory. So it depends on the place uh, along here. Um, it will kind of like move the hair cells, it'll like do like a little depression, and the hair cells will move, and then that then um, it knows basically how high pitched the sound is based on where it simulates uh, along this membrane here. Um, so higher pitched to lower pitched. And then um, for very low pitched sounds, it actually doesn't stimulate any portion of this. It, it kind of uh, vibrates the end here and um, based on how fat uh, the frequency of the vibrations here, then that um, determines how low the pitch is. And that's with frequency matching theory. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.